Hello everyone, welcome to um, your reading. This is for fire sign, okay? Uh, sun, moon, rising, Venus. We are going to be looking at um, the full moon energies, okay? So what's falling away and what do you need to forgive, okay? What's being illuminated to you? What's being shown to you through this full moon? Um, we're also going to be looking at what is coming next, okay? What you can expect. So I want to call on my spirit guides, my higher self, to guide and protect me in this reading, as well as the viewers. And this is for your highest good, okay? Whatever is coming through. Spirit guides, guardian angels. This is for fire sign, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Full moon reading for Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, fire sign. So first card is what's falling away? What do you need to forgive or let go? One card, please. Okay, this one wants to come out. Okay, second card. What is being shown to you? What is being illuminated by this full moon? Okay, we had two cards that came out. And then what comes next? fire sign time for healing balsamic moon okay wow so the balsamic moon is like it's almost like the void it's right before the new moon okay so we have uh, Pisces energy we have um, the whining moon what do you need to release you're very close to achieving your goal time for healing okay so I feel like with these energies okay so so I feel like this moon is telling you to really contemplate on um, and it sends you back to the Islamic moon right here with the new moon Okay, so it's like, what needs to be healed? What needs to be let go? There is a sense of a cycle being repeated again, okay? But within this cycle, I feel like you are um, coming to conclusions, coming to self-awareness about what it is that needs to be leaked needs to be released needs to be healed because I feel like, you know, with this meditation and, um, when you contemplate stuff, you you want to figure it out. You want to take time to um, see what needs to be released out of your life and what you need to keep, okay? It's kind of like, you know, um, going through your closet and getting rid of the old clothes and, uh, you know, bringing in new, okay? So, and we also have Pisces energy here, and Pisces is Neptune energy, um, and it's also about, you know, changes. It's about, you know, realizing that something needs to be changed. And I feel like this is, you know, uh, this is definitely a water sign. But, you know, this is, it's almost, it's just a mutable sign. It is. And with this mutable sign, it's like, this is a fixed energy, okay? Um, no, it's not fixed. It's mutable. So it's like. It can be adaptable. It could be. It could be like. It's actually saying to you know pick your side, choose your side here, okay? Because it's telling you to meditate on what it is that you truly want, that you truly desire, okay? Um, yeah, it's telling you to face your fears. Something is definitely holding you back. And this situation, it needs to be healed, and it definitely brings you back to the Basalmic Moon right here, which is about healing and about releasing and about, you know, um, stepping more into that meditation enigma, okay? Um, so that you can figure out what it is that you need to let go. It's like being at a crossroads here, okay? It's asking you, meditate, contemplate on what you need to release, question mark what you need to release you're getting very close to it okay so it's like you've been working yourself working yourself up to this starting point 
okay? And now this moon is definitely showing you, okay? This full moon is showing you what you need to release. So you need, if you don't know this, then you need to contemplate on it, okay? You need to definitely meditate on it. You need to think about it and you need some time alone. You need some time to write. However you meditate, is it working out? Is it writing? Is it reading? Whatever kind of releases your energies from the uh, physical, the mental world um, to your, you know, to yourself. This is uh, taking a look within as well, but it's also about, you know, uh, taking it very slowly so that you can come to conclusions because this is a time of redo. Of course, we are going through a uh, retrograde season, but it's also, um, you know, uh, you getting back to your roots, okay, and to your emotions, realizing what needs to be released. Um, and I feel that you're, you are definitely being shown, okay, you're, you're being shown the things that need to be released. And it is a time for healing, okay? So, so with this energy fire sign, I feel like you already know what needs to be released here with this Pisces energy. It's like you're very intuitive. It's like you feel these energies with this new moon, okay? I mean, with this full moon, okay? But with this new moon in Pisces, it's like, you know, this card of feeling, of feeling awareness, being very intuitive, okay? Being in tuned with the moon, okay? Um, so this is a time to really, um, you're gathering up your mobility, okay? And you're realizing what needs to be released. You're coming very closely because this is definitely what is being shown to you. So you're coming very close to um, that smooth past, that purity, that wellness, okay? Um, beyond the cool, the cold uh, comes the warmth, the time for healing, okay? The time for inspiration, um, the balsamic moon. This is a time to... Uh, A time to just set set things to set things to the side, okay? Um, set your worries, your fears to the side, and just go ahead and you know let your intuition guide you, okay? Um, not only let your intuition guide you, but feel free and fear, fearless. Free and fearless is what I'm hearing for fire signs. Okay, fire signs. Let's see. Spirit guides, guardian angels. This is for fire signs all around the world. Whoever is in tuning, tuning in to my channel here for this full moon. A full moon reading. Spirit guides, guardian angels. We are looking at what's falling away here. We have meditation and Contemplate. Meditation and contemplate. The sun card. The sun illuminates the dark shadows within the night. So, boom, you know what needs to be let go of. What needs to be let go of? For fire signs, Sagittarius, we have Leo, and we have uh, Hangman and Neptune still holding on. Okay, we have still holding on here. So, you could definitely be still holding on or no, this is being enlightened. It's like you've been very successful. You held on enough with the nine of wands, okay, in the hangman, major arcana. Um, you were guided spiritually, um, especially with the major arcana cords coming up. We have two. We also have uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy here. This is a message coming in. Um, it could be coming in from the universe through this uh, full moon, okay? Um, but it's also bringing in awareness. It's bringing in some sort of stability and it's in time. It's going to take a little bit of time, but I'm telling you what, you're almost there. Okay. Um, I feel like you've been through this cycle again, uh, once before, and now, you know, you're just redoing it so that you can get a, a higher perspective and a better, uh, judgment on the situation. Okay. So So what's falling away is that you basically know. So your next step here is um, what's being illuminated here. Okay, we have a wisdom. We have an old soul here, okay? You're definitely an old soul. You're realizing that you are an old soul, that you have more wisdom than you um, 
thought, okay, or you could be a counsel, you could be in counseling, okay, you could be talking to someone of a higher wisdom, a higher spirit, this could be a, a, a Virgo, this could be um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, we have Pisces, could be younger than you, okay, but I'm seeing there is an option here that you are pulling back on, okay, um, with this, you know, what you need to release. It's like you're, you're searching for it, but it's like, you know, you're at this crossroads with it. You're, you're fighting about this. Okay. It's like what needs to be released. This could be something to do with the justice, with the court system as well. Fairness. You want equality. You want, um, you want quality. Okay. Um, but it's, you're very close to achieving your goals. You're not backing down, okay? You are, um, this is a head over heart decision. You're having a lot of struggle here with the card systems. However, on the bottom of the deck here, we have the full card, no? So the full card wanted to show because there is a new opportunity, a new way to come at this situation, fire sign, okay? Um, why is this five of wands here with the justice? You could be fighting with the uh, district court system. Um, there could be an opportunity or you could be wanting to pass an opportunity on, but yet you're fighting with yourself because I don't know why. Yeah, you're thinking about it. You're contemplating on it. It's like you don't know if you should go through with it, but I think that you should and spirit does too, especially with the ace of swords. Communicate how you feel. Okay, we also have a time for healing. So this is what is going to happen next. Okay, and spirit guides, guardian angels, this is for fire signs, sun, moon, rising, Venus. A time for healing, the balsamic moon. A time to relax. Okay, um, so we have, yes, we have cycles have ended. Okay, and you know that you had to cut ties. Um, could be a uh, Virgo, could be an air sign, okay? Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be dealing with the Taurus. You could be also saying, you know what? I'm wanting to step up and, and make something. Yeah, it's like you're, you're communicating your belief to the world. You could be expanding yourself, okay? Um, or you could be building up yourself so that you can start communicating more. You're working on uh, bringing more um abundance and happiness okay especially with aries here with a queen of wands and you have this idea and a want and a desire to make things happen okay yes we have the lover's card with um the two of wands there's balance you want balance in this relationship or you could be um having some sort of energies about over a Gemini. This is about being stuck. So you feel stuck, but you also have strength and you have the nine of coins here and the six of cups. And I feel like there is a healing time here because there is hope. Um, someone or you have walked away from a situation, but I feel like it's reoccurring. It's coming back around here. Okay, and that's why we have the knight of the Knight of Cups, because the Knight of Cups is someone who is very romantic and they want to express themselves to you. But this is a decision that you have to make, okay? And I feel like this decision is coming back around to you, whether you like it or not, you know? Um, it's like you can't hide from it no more, but I feel like you don't want to hide from it. This is something that you want to communicate, whether it's going to, you're going to communicate to the uh, jurisdiction, um, you know, uh, take it to the court, whatever. I feel like, you know, you want to to make an offer. There's some kind of offer here that wants to be made. And um, I feel like there's a lot of healing involved here with this person or with this situation. Okay, so I'm going to pull you, let's see, I'm trying not to go so, uh, I'm going to pull you an energy here. I'm trying not to go so long with these readings. Okay, this wanted to pop out. So we're going to do past, present, and future. You could be dealing with a fixed sign. Again, we have the 12th house, which is Pisces, okay. Um, it says this is no time to give up 
are due in about phase, but you may need to refine your approach. So this is about re uh, reevaluating. Okay, this is um, self undoing. We have secret knowledge. A secret may, soon may be revealed. Something is being illuminated. Okay, within this shadows, I feel like someone will definitely communicate. I feel like it's it's gonna be somewhat. Um, they could be very hard or they could just say, I want, you know, you could be going through some sort of divorce here, okay? Um, and then we have um, the present, which is being assertive, okay? So this is a conflict is a bearing. It says time to face it head on. This, it's time to face the situation head on. The situation will be resolved in your favor, okay? So whatever is going to happen, it's going to be in your favor, okay? fire sign so this is totally awesome let's pull you one of these cards for the overall energy for the reading for the full moon and scorpio spirit guides for fire signs for their highest good oh my gosh okay so we're not going to take all those we're going to take this one here we have trust, okay, so um, something in, in, uh, in April happened possibly. It doesn't have to be, but um, I'm getting a strong number five as well, but I'm getting that you need to trust, okay? You need to trust. This is about, you know, being in this, it's almost like being in this cocoon, okay? But it's like... Um, building yourself up it's setting boundaries and trusting this is the egg moon um but this is definitely about you know regaining your regaining self-awareness and um letting go of old habits um that has been you know pressed into your memory i want to say it's almost like a sense of uh letting go it's like a meditation of letting go negative negativity you know it's like breaking i can see it breaking away and just withering off of you okay just like the stars in the background right here it's like you know all this negative energy is just coming oh it's just it's like you're protected okay um divinely protected at that and you're definitely growing Within time, you're growing, you're figuring out who the, who you are and where it is that you need to be. And, you know, um, it's like, you know, Mother Earth, Mother Gaia is, is definitely protecting you, okay? It's like picturing yourself in that white light, you know, um, all around you. It's like nothing can get to you no matter what, no matter how you feel right now, okay? Or what is being revealed to you or whatever is happening. Just face it head on and you will succeed. Okay, fire sign. Thank you so much.